Hey everyone, this is Drake Bell, and you're watching Childhood DVD Fan right here on YouTube. Hi everyone, my name is Terry Ray, and I um, I played a wedding coordinator in an, uh, in Drake and Josh's episode, uh, The Really Big Shrimp. And I have been asked to answer some questions about that a long time ago. And I've been so busy, I haven't been able to, but I'm in a hotel room directing a play out of town, so I'm like, okay, I'm doing it. So I have the questions right here. Let me do this for you. Okay. Uh, how did I get cast in The Really Big Shrimp? Okay, the casting director was Krisha Bullock. And um, Krisha uh, cast me originally. I auditioned for um, uh, Keenan and Kel. And uh, that was Dan Schneider's first uh, sitcom at Nickelodeon. He did several. And uh, then I got to do his next, which was all that, and the Amanda show as well. So I was sort of his good luck charm. I had been in, I was the only actor that had been in every one of those shows. Uh, especially once I got cast, uh, and I auditioned for um, uh, Drake and Josh. He called me in his like a little little uh, charm in a way, <laughs> so that was nice. Um, anyway, uh, the casting assistant was Larry Lafond, and I became friends with Larry. And actually, we've done so many things together, so many projects together that we are like best friends. And so that happened because of all the Nickelodeon shows, and I'm very grateful for that. Okay, uh, second question. Uh, was Miranda or uh, um, Megan, Miranda Cosgrove, really playing the instrument during the wedding scene? She was playing, yes, yes. My memory is yes. Um, I remember I, uh, talking to her about it and, and, and complimenting her that she was really doing it. I think I remember her talking about she, yeah, she had learned to do that. Um, so, um, yes. Was the fire real or at the wedding or fake? Okay, fake. You never have a real fire on set like that. That would be a huge risk and in insurance and stuff. So fire like that on set is always fake or made to look like it's real, but it's not near the actors. The fire alarm after the fire, real or fake? Um, <laughs> okay, I, to tell you the truth, I can't remember because at that moment, I was so busy trying to get a little bit of extra business for my role. So my I played, you know, the wedding coordinator who was flamboyant and I thought, wouldn't it be fun if during the fire alarm um, that instead of exiting with the crowd and the extras and the actors that, um, that he <laughs> tried to swim upstream of that and rescue the flowers. So I thought, I'm gonna try that without permission and uh, during one take and I did. And the director, which was Steve Hofer, and I love him, uh, he liked it and he let me keep it. So I was really focused on all that and I can't remember if they were actually blaring a siren or not. So I don't know. Uh, the parking lot after the fire, was that at Nick? Yes, it was uh, the Nick on Sunset's real parking lot. Uh, was Drake really singing and playing in the parking lot? And that is yes, yes. I did not know that he could sing and play like that. And I was so impressed. And I know, I remember he played other songs and we were all hanging out there and having a good time in between takes. They had like a cake to celebrate uh, the, uh, the ease end of the series, I believe. And um, people were, everybody was there. It was, it was fun. Um, do I still have the script? Hmm. I think so, but I haven't seen it in a really long time, but I think I have it. It's very, would be very weird of me to not have it, to throw it away. So I, I think I must have it. Uh, do I have a costume or props from the scene? No, no, everything was provided by the studio. So um, the costume, there's the props, there's, all goes back to them. I do remember now since, <laughs> I didn't think this through, since uh, I rescued the flowers, I was stuck with having to hold them for the rest of the night. Uh, uh, for all the shoots. So I was holding those dang flowers all night long. Um, to, and last question, do I keep in touch with anyone? Yes, besides Larry, who I love and one of my best friends, I'm still really good friends with Nancy Sullivan, who played their mom, Drake and Josh's mom. And she's so funny and great. I love her to death. So I, you know, really great connections, really great memories from that time. I'm, I'm so happy that you guys are fans of the show. Uh, and I hope that these questions... Uh, we're interesting to you. Okay, thanks for inviting me to do this. Bye. Hey, this is Jonathan Goldstein Walter from Drake and Josh. I just want to thank you for watching Childhood DVD Fan right here on YouTube.